In today's video, we're going to be talking about stacking the precious metals in smaller increments. And by that, I mean silver, 10 ounces and below, and gold, half an ounce and below. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about both silver and gold, why I've been and why I will continue stacking smaller denominations of those metals. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new. Make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Thursday, June 17th, 2021. As I'm recording the video, I'm pretty sure this video is going to be uploaded on Saturday. So being that I'm filming the video probably two days in advance, I have no idea what the current spot price is for you as you're viewing the video, so I'm not even going to talk about it, but I would like for you to head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're watching and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. But today I wanted to talk about stacking the silver and gold in smaller denominations. I like stacking 90% silver, which is obviously pretty much silver on a fractional level. I also like stacking one troy ounce coins, rounds and bars, two troy ounce, five troy ounce, ten troy ounce, and that's as high up as I've gotten. I haven't gone for any 20 or 25 ounce, I haven't gone for any kilo bars or anything like that. I like 10 ounces and below. And when it comes to gold, I like half an ounce and below, although I don't have any half ounce gold coins yet. I plan on getting one this summer, but for the most part, I've stuck to 10th ounce and quarter ounce gold coins. And technically, I also have a one gram gold bar, but that was my very first piece of gold. And I do not believe I would ever go for one again because they carry unbelievable premiums. Now, believe it or not, this video was actually inspired by a small section of the conversation we had during Wednesday night's VIP Club live stream. And it's not just weekly live streams. I also do monthly giveaways, daily silver and gold deal alerts, and a ton of other stuff. Link in the description if you want to join the VIP Club. But I did a live stream Wednesday evening. It was over two hours long, which is Pretty standard, by the way. I try to stream for about two hours. But there was a small section of that stream where we were really talking about and going into detail about why I personally prefer silver and gold in smaller increments. Now I know the smaller the denomination, the higher the premium is going to be, and vice versa, by the way. The larger the denomination, the lower the premium is going to be. But I like to shoot for the happy medium, which I'm going to be explaining throughout the course of this video. But before I even get into that, I want to show you the clip from Wednesday night's live stream. I took it and I'm going to insert it right here in the video and then I'm going to come back and talk even more about the subject. Here we go. The only time I could see myself picking up a one ounce gold coin is if number one, it's a gold buffalo. <laughs> and two. If it's not a gold buffalo, it's got to be something at spot or below spot. It's got to be from someone who picked it up when gold was only $1,300 or something like that. And they're like, hey, I'll give it to you for below spot just because I need the cash. I wouldn't say no to that. I would say, heck yeah, give me two. <laughs> but other than that, I really have no desire to pick up a one troy ounce gold coin. Not yet, anyway. Maybe one day, but... The reason I'm not interested in any one ounce gold coins at the moment is... 
For the exact same identical reason, I'm not interested in picking up any silver kilo bars or or, uh, or, or 25 or 50 ounce bars or anything like that. Of course, it's arguably the greatest way of breaking down the premiums and paying the bare minimum over spot. Yes, absolutely. But, are they practical? Right now, they absolutely are. But what happens if spot price really takes off? What happens if the spot price of silver goes to, I don't know, 50 to to $100 an ounce? What happens if the spot price of gold goes to 3000 or 3500 an ounce? Is the average Joe who you might be using as a tool to help cash out a little bit as you need or as you wish, will they have that large of an amount of cash to give you in exchange for a piece of metal? Maybe. I'm not going to say that they won't. But that's why I like silver and gold in smaller denominations. When it comes to silver, I would really prefer not to go above 10 ounces. I would like to get myself the 20 ounce silver Kit Kat bar just because that's really cool. I like the way it looks. That would be just more of a fun piece potentially if I can get it for a relatively low premium. But other than that, I'm not really interested in larger denomination pieces of silver. I love the 10 ounce increment. That's my favorite denomination of silver. Five ounce is cool, I guess. One ounce, love it. 90% silver, aka fractional silver coins. Love them as well. Easy to work with, practical in my opinion. You can break a larger denomination with the smaller denominations. And the same could be said about gold. That's why I've always liked the 10th ounce and quarter ounce pieces, like I have on screen right there. Everything that I just talked about on screen right there. We got some junk silver right there, technically junk silver. Got some one ounce, some 10 ounce pieces of silver right there. And then we have some 10th ounce and quarter ounce little gold coins. Easy to work with. You can break a larger denomination with the smaller denominations. Sure, the premium's a little bit higher to acquire smaller denomination pieces. But when it comes to gold especially, I've always considered it to be somewhat of a security expense. Especially if you're ordering them online. Which is how I got all of my gold and most of my silver up until 2020. 2020 is when I started saying, okay, I want to get more silver from the local coin shop. Then, of course, the local coin shop ended up closing down because it was 2020. But as of this year, I've really been supporting the small business that has silver waiting for me. And really, all I get from there is 90%. But yeah, that's why I like the smaller denominations. But if you're going to be getting them online, I consider it to be a security expense because God forbid something gets lost in the mail. God forbid something gets stolen. I mean, think about it. A little one tenth ounce coin that I order, if it gets lost or stolen, is it heartbreaking? Yes, absolutely. Thing ran me 200 bucks. But what if it's a one ounce gold coin that gets lost or stolen. That's not 200 bucks. That's 2000. That would hurt my soul to lose $2000 in the mail. So, just something to think about. I'm not pushing my beliefs on anyone when it comes to what you should stack. I don't care what anybody stacks. I don't even care if you stack at all personal preference at the end of the day which is kind of why I like the 10 ounce silver bar and the quarter ounce maybe even the half ounce although I don't have any gold coins it's kind of like the happy medium between the 10th ounce and the one ounce when it comes to gold and then when it comes to silver between the one ounce and potentially kilo 10 ounce is somewhat of a happy medium or I guess technically more of between 1 ounce and let's just say 20 ounce. Either way, it's the happy medium. It breaks down the premium a little bit.
but it's still small enough to be simple and easy to work with and practical to stack. It's my opinion. So that right there was about maybe five, potentially six minutes from a two plus hour long live stream. I do them every single week in the VIP club. Once again, I also do monthly giveaways, daily silver and gold deal alerts. I post all of my videos early and commercial free. You can also watch bonus additional videos. I do discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, and so much stuff goes on in the VIP club. Link in the description if you'd like to join. I guarantee you the value exceeds the cost. But everything that I just shared in that little clip that I snipped out from the live stream and included, I personally find this to be really relevant. And the main reason behind that is because of the current spot price and also the premiums. You see, with gold, the issue many of us have <laughs> would be the spot price. I consider the premiums on gold to be relatively fair, but premiums aside, even if you got gold at spot, that's still like 17 to $1,800 an ounce. That's a lot of currency, that's a lot of cash, that's a lot of fiat, that's a lot of dollar bills. I don't know how many people out there walking around with seventeen eighteen hundred dollars in their pocket hopefully not too many that doesn't sound like too safe of an idea but point being is gold is kind of tough to get your hands on if you want to get yourself a one troy ounce gold coin i'm willing to bet that 99 percent of you myself included would need to save up for it we couldn't just get it right away a tenth ounce gold coin is only two hundred dollars maybe 210 215 a quarter ounce gold coin is a little over 500 a half ounce gold coin is about 1000 now even though 200 500 and 1000 dollars might sound like a lot of currency and it is it's much easier to obtain something worth half or quarter or a tenth as much as the full troy ounce. Now once again, the smaller the denomination, the higher the premiums are going to get cranked up. But point being, it's easier to get your hands on. I consider it to be a security expense, especially if I'm getting it online, like I explained in the clip. And then as for silver, the spot price of silver, pretty much hovering or fluctuating somewhere in the mid-20s right now, as it's been for a while now, no big deal, 20-something dollars who cares? Everybody's got 20 something dollars. It's not the spot price we have to worry about when it comes to silver. Similar to what we just said about gold, it's the spot price, not the premium. When it comes to silver, it's the premium, not the spot price. The premiums for the last year and a half have been cranked up through the roof. It's made the grand total stack price quite a bit more. I consider stack price to be spot price plus an average premium tacked on. Right now, I would say about five bucks. So if spot price right now is, let's just say, 26 bucks, you tack on $5, it brings stack price up to 31. $5 added onto something that is only about $26, that's a little bit hefty if you think about it. It might not seem like very much, but percentage-wise, it's up there. So when it comes to silver, you're probably gonna to wanna to try to break down the premiums to the best of your ability, which is probably why it's not a half bad idea to go for larger denominations. But like I said in the video, the larger the denomination, the less practical it may or may not be. Now maybe you'll get a larger denomination. Maybe you'll get a 200 ounce silver bar and never have an issue. Maybe the spot price does completely take off and you're able to trade it for cash with ease. I'm not saying that it's guaranteed to be a pain in the neck trying to get rid of a big block of silver, but I am willing to guarantee it's much easier to get rid of smaller denominations of silver. I wouldn't go for fractional silver though. Fractional silver rounds and bars, unnecessary in my opinion. If you're gonna go for fractional silver, 
you might as well go for the 90% silver coins. Sure, they're not pure silver, but they're coins, government-minted coins, which I would argue are a whole lot more recognizable, trusted, and respected when comparing them to generic silver rounds and bars. But it's all personal preference at the end of the day. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. And what is your preferred denomination when it comes to the silver, when it comes to the gold? Do you refuse to stack fractional gold because of the slightly higher premiums? Do you refuse to stack larger pieces of gold? Because maybe you see it as less practical. And when it comes to silver, same thing could be said. Maybe you only stack silver kilo bars and up. I've talked to plenty of people like that. They think anything below a kilo bar makes absolutely no sense. Again, it's personal preference. I respect their decision. They should respect mine. They don't have to. It is what it is. They don't have to agree with me. I'm not here to be agreed with. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and what your preferred denomination is when it comes to the precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content bunch of brand new videos over there. I posted one about China banning cryptocurrency, one about AT&T cutting its dividend, other videos about real estate, videos about silver, videos about gold, and a bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' T-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And, of course, last but not least, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. What are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video? When it comes to smaller denominations of both silver and gold. Not ridiculously small denominations. Again, the smaller the denomination, the higher the premium is going to be. I try to find the happy medium, but I also try to keep it, in my opinion at least, practical. That's all this video is, by the way, my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing on this channel has ever been financial advice. Do your own research, form your own opinions, make your own decisions based off of your conclusions, not mine. My conclusion is everything that I shared in today's video, and I wanna know your conclusion. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and what your preferred denomination is when it comes to the precious metals. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow, and remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.